Hello, my name is Steven Leinberg, and this is video two of building an internet controlled RC car. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit less of me and a little bit more of uh, the robot this time. Quick note I'm not going to be using Pachube, um, it doesn't allow updates more frequent than one every five seconds, and I need update times to be a lot uh, more frequent than that, so I'm going to have to figure out another way to do that. But um, in the meantime, I've got some more of my parts. I've done a little bit more building, a little bit more construction. So uh, I'm going to just kind of show you what I've got going here. So over here is the robot. Um, and uh, I've got a battery pack built onto it now. So it is completely free of its cable free, essentially, potentially at the moment. Um, as in, it's not connected to the computer anymore. Here's the uh, Arduino. It's connected to the uh, PS2 controller. Here, I don't know if you can see that. Here, I'll give you another angle here. Um, so it's connected to the PS2 controller. Um, I have built a better way to do this, but I haven't been able to finish it just yet. Um, it's over here. I have taken an old PS1 and I have essentially taken out the uh, controller for it. I intend to take these pins back here, solder them down to the board, and put it to uh, this regular breadboard spacing so then I can easily connect it to and from my Arduino rather than having to jimmy rig it like you saw over here. Um, anyway, um, so now the robot has a battery pack and I have gotten the motor controller, which is not quite working yet, but I have built the um, pan and tilt system. Um, I'm going to re be replacing the pan servo. Um, it's currently a 360 degree um, servo, which isn't what I thought it was. I thought it was something that would... Uh, look around from I could turn from left to right and give it a specific angle turns out you can turn it from left to right but you can turn it at a specific speed and not a specific angle so uh, that was a bit of a learning experience about you know thirty bucks wasted there but uh, I have because uh, I originally had the uh, tilt servo um, that was a uh, 360 degree servo as well, but I've currently replaced it, so all I have left to replace is the uh, pan servo. So I'm going to kick this puppy on, give you guys a quick demo. Here I've got my power switch under here, like on our, any regular RC car. Okay, so everything's on. My uh, motor controller is, uh, little heartbeat is going. It's nice and happy and steady. Um, the Arduino is currently powered up properly, so... Um, Alright, so here's the uh, PlayStation 2 controller. I've got it set up for um, the right stick is the steering. So if I turn the right stick, it will drive it. Um, it will eventually be, if I press forward, the car will go forward. If I press back, it will go back. But that currently is not implemented because the motor controller doesn't want to talk to the Arduino for whatever reason. And uh, here, let me pick this up here. And here's the pan and tilt system. Turn left, turn right, which is not why I wanted it to be. And here's the look down, look up. Um, and normally the iPhone would be mounted on this pan and tilt system, which I have built out of Lego. However, um, I'm using it to record this video, so that's kind of hard to uh, show you. But um, so this is what I have so far. Um, I hope to do more and uh, I will update when I have more so um, if you have any questions about anything um, about how I have connected uh, anything or or what my plans are or anything like that or how I built the battery pack um, just post a comment or something and I will do my best to uh, reply alright thanks